Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to write a Python dictionary to a CSV file. Let's start first by defining what a Python dictionary is. Within Python, the dictionary class is a collection of mutable objects, known as values, that are indexed by numbers, strings, or certain sets known as keys, which are immutable. The main use of dictionaries is to store values, which can then be called by a given key. In the description below, I link to a previous video I made that goes more in-depth into Python dictionaries. If we want to write a Python dictionary to a CSV file, we'll take the keys and set them as the columns, and take the values and set them as the rows within the CSV file. Here I have a dictionary for NBA player data. For the keys I have the name, number, position, and team, and for the corresponding values we have the names, the numbers, the positions for each of the players, and the teams that they play for. We'll go through two different methods to write to a CSV file. First, I'm going to call with open, and I am going to name the file. I'll call it NBA data one. Be sure to add the CSV extension at the end. Next, I need to say that I'm writing, so I need to put a W here. Then I am going to separate these by new line. I'm going to put an empty string here. Then I'm going to put the colon here, and I also need to specify as F, and that F stands for our file. Next, I am going to create a variable called writer and set that equal to, and I am going to call the CSV module. And there's a class called dictwriter, which allows us to write to a Python dictionary specifically. We're going to write the file, f. Next, we are going to put the field names, that's going to be our columns, and set that equal to the keys for our NBA dictionary. Then I am going to call the writer again, and I'm going to call write header function. The write header function will write our columns. And then finally, I'm going to call writer, and I'm going to write our rows, and it is write row. Then I am going to pass the NBA dictionary there. Once I run this, we've written our Python dictionary to a CSV file. Let's check it out in Excel. And we have our CSV file here. We can see that we have our columns and then our rows. However, we have this saved in list format within Python, but if we are working within a CSV file, we most likely want these lists expanded into the rows themselves. So we'll do that method next. And like before, we'll start with open. This time I'll call it NBA data 2. I'm specifying that I'm writing and I'm doing the same thing with the new line. And we're creating another file as F. This time I am going to create a writer, but I'm not going to create a dict writer. I am just going to call writer function. And what I'll do is I am going to put in the file itself. After that, I'll do writer dot write row. And this is going to write our first row, which is going to act as our columns. So the columns are going to be the keys for our NBA dictionary. Next, I am going to iterate through the each of the values. So I'm going to say for iteration in range, and then it's going to correspond to the length of our NBA dictionary keys. Then I'm going to take our writer, and we are going to write each of our rows as we iterate through. And I am going to do list comprehension here. I'm going to say value and iteration. And here I am doing indexing for value in NBA dict values. Let's run this. And let's also print this out so we understand what's going on here with our list comprehension. As we iterate through each of the keys here, we are going to get the value for each of these. So this is how we're writing it to the CSV file we're getting each of the values given the keys. So this is Joel Embiid, this is his corresponding number, position, and team he plays for, and the same thing goes for all the other players. Let's take a look at our CSV file. And here we can see we have the formatting that we're more used to when dealing with CSV or Excel files, where we have our column and then rows for each of the values. Thanks everyone for watching, I hope that this video was helpful. Again, I linked a previous video I made on Python dictionaries that goes more in depth into the dictionary class if you want to check that out. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and Odyssey. Thanks again everyone for watching and happy coding.